Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Gary and we've got Rachel. But don't just sit there, tricksters. Let's make something. You like gluing and sticking. <laughs> Me too. This one on top. And that's us. We've got a beautiful flower. Now, do you know why we're making paper flowers? Because Hope's mummy, Emma, is in hospital today and she's going to have a baby. And we're going to wear these to celebrate the new baby. <laughs> now, someone's missing from home today. Ah, uh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Yes, it's Samson and Dr Juno. Hello there. Dr. Juno, hello, and Samson, come on, boy, good boy, come on, come and see Granny, clever boy, that's the way, come and say hello to Samson. Oh, Samson, look, he's come to say hello. <laughs> Gentle now. Look, he's enjoying that. <laughs> oh, here, I think that's enough parting, isn't it? It's your basket, Samson. Good boy. Oh, he'll get a good view from there. Well, we dress Claude up as if he was going to the shops, eh? <laughs> oh, what's Claude going shopping for? He's going shopping for a baby present. Mm -hmm. He's going to put all the things in his basket that he thinks a new baby might like. Oh, how exciting, Granny Murray. Tell me more. Oh, quick, over here, before we get popped in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> Hope's mum, Emma's having a baby. Brilliant. Is she at the hospital now? Yes, she's at the hospital just now. Her husband, Bruce, is there looking after her. Oh, the baby's due any minute now. Well, if you like, I can call into the maternity ward and see how she's getting on. Then I can let you know. Oh, that would be great. A new baby's such a wonderful thing. The children must be so excited. Oh, they are. We'll be making these paper flowers. <gasps> now... The idea is that everyone who wants to celebrate the new arrival of the wee baby boy or girl gets to wear one of these lovely flowers. Oh, they're so sweet. <laughs> they are, aren't they? Oh, here, you take one. Go on and help all the children to celebrate. Oh, thank you. Smashing. <laughs> oh, don't hide it away in there. Oh, well, you can put it on when you get to work. Don't be shy. Show it. You're right. I'll show it off at work. Granny Murray? Hey, check out Claude. Ooh, he's definitely been shopping. What you buy, Claude? Oh, cuddly toys for the new baby. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, Claude. Well done, everyone. <coughs> oh, see you later, Samson. <coughs> Come on, then. Now remember, don't be shy. Show it. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, Dad, and I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Dr Juno and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Cycling through all the city views Ringing my bell and singing my song Pedaling my way So fine, so enjoy my cycling time. I always go the way I know. Can you show me the way I go? Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Okay, left to the hospital. I'm on my way. Work today, looking this way and that away. Hello, policeman. Hello, boss. Hello, postman. Hello, shops. Hello, lamppost. Hello, stop. She's on her way to work. Which 
Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. So what's next? Oh yes, I better put my wet clothes on. All scrubbed and ready to go. I'll pop that there just to remind me to go and see Emma in maternity. Morning, Dr. Juno. Uh, we're fairly quiet this morning, so I thought we could use the time to... That's nice. Did you make that yourself? Well, Granny Murray gave it to me. It's to celebrate the arrival of a new baby. Oh, what a fun idea. Isn't it? Hiya, Bobby. Come in. Celebrating the arrival of a new baby? Uh, yes. I've just been to see Granny Murray and... Oh, you've got one too. Red, green and yellow. My favourite colours. Me too. Touché. So, is there any news about the baby? Oh, not yet. I'm just on my way to see about to be mum, Emma, right now. Look, I've made her a present. <laughs> wow, they're so lovely. Oh. <laughs> well, why don't you pop up to maternity to see Emma and Bruce while I get on with the filing? And then you can come down later and we'll chat about it. OK, I'll see you in a bit, Dr right. J. Bye. Bye. <sighs> I wonder how my little one's getting on. I'd love to skip in Rivers and Dingle, Rivers and Dingle, by the sea. I'd love to skip in Rivers and Dingle, Rivers and Dingle, that's for me. Come on, Samson, good boy. <laughs> He's a great boy, our Samson, isn't he, darling? Hello, Raymond. Hi, Granny Murray and Samson too. Uh -huh. How are you all? Oh, we're just ship shape, aren't we? <laughs> oh, here, you couldn't do me a favour, could you? Oh, could you look after Samson for just two minutes while I nip into this shop? Well, there's nothing I'd rather do than spend a couple of minutes with my old pal. <laughs> <laughs> we'll only be a second. Come on, boys. Me, 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 boys. Me. Will you come and help Granny Murray pick something for the new baby? Oh, wow, good boy. That's lovely, but do you think that would fit? No. You're right, too big. Well, let's look for something that's a bit smaller, will we? Maybe for a boy or a girl. Oh, thank you, Raymond. Has he been a good boy? You betcha, he's been a very good boy. Well done, Samson. Dr. Juno will be so proud. Oh, come in, Bobby. Hiya. How's the mum to be? Oh, is she a new mum already? No, no, not yet. The baby is still in her tummy, but she's doing really well. But I gave her my booties. She was well chuffed. I'm sure there's something different about you. And I saw Bruce. Your flower. You took off your flower. And I gave my flower to him. You gave your flower to Bruce? Yeah, well, he didn't have one to celebrate, so I thought it was only fair that I should give him mine. Oh, and we had a matching pair as well. <laughs> oh, thanks for the update, Bobby. This might be urgent. OK, well, I'd best be off. I'll see you later. See ya. Well, I'd better get back to work. It's so exciting in the hospital It's where the people who are ill get well Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there to be here It's so exciting in the hospital Trolleys gliding patients through the corridors Flashing blue lights right up to the door I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there I'll be there to comfort you at all times I'll be there to see all is fine I'll be there 
Oh, so much for a quiet morning. Oh, I thought I saw you down here. I was just about to take a break, Raymond. What can I do for you? Well, I've just been in to see Bruce and Emma. Has and she had the baby yet? No, not yet. Mm. You see, I had made a present for the new baby. It's a lovely mobile to hang above his or her cot. And I was showing it to Bruce when... Oh. <laughs> you got all tied up? You could say that, yes. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll have you out in a jiffy. Oh, that would be great. I've got to get to work. And Bruce has gone out shopping. Shopping? Well, I hope he hasn't strayed too far. He needs to be here when the baby arrives. That's the thing with babies, isn't it? You never know just when they're going to arrive. There we go. <sighs> wow, it's really good. Thanks. Do you mind hanging on to it for me? You can give it to Bruce and Emma later. No problem. I'll let you know as soon as I hear anything. Cheers. Bye now. Bye-bye. So Bruce has gone to the shops, eh? Well, Granny Murray says she was taking Samson to the shops too. Oh, hello! What a lovely wee face! Oh, but he was a beautiful puppy! <laughs> oh, but you were gorgeous too, Samson! Yes! Yes, you were! <laughs> Just think, Samson, you were a little tiny puppy once. Oh, you were so sweet. I wonder how Emma's getting on. I better ring the maternity ward. Where's Bruce? I don't know. I don't know what he looks like. Well, he's gone missing. The baby's arriving. It's due any minute. Oh, no. There's a baby due any minute and its dad's gone missing. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I called in at Granny Murray's to drop off Samson. Granny Murray and the children were making paper flowers to celebrate the arrival of a new baby. The idea was that everyone could show their excitement about the new baby by wearing a paper flower. Granny Murray gave me a flower in my three favourite colours. I went to work at the hospital. At 8 o'clock, Bobby arrived. She was wearing a flower just like mine. Red, green and yellow. She brought a present for the new baby. At 10 o'clock, I saw Bobby again. She'd taken off a flower. She told me that she had given the flower to Bruce, the new father-to-be. At two o'clock, Raymond stopped by. He'd made a mobile for the new baby. But he'd got himself into a bit of a muddle. Raymond told me that Bruce, the dad, had gone to do a bit of shopping, so that's where he is. Then, Nurse Hendry rushed in to tell me that the baby was about to be born. But the father of the baby was nowhere to be found. And I haven't a clue what Bruce looks like. Now remember. Don't be shy. Show it. Of course. There is another way for me to recognise him. Don't be shy. Show it. Bobby gave her flower to Bruce, which looks just like mine. So I have to spot a flower, which has got red, green and yellow, just like this one. It's the race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on Before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, it shows me I'm glad she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna start it I'm gonna do the job on time Like a busy bee I'm gonna beat that I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. That's a lovely baby boy. That's us, my darling's Bobby. How's Emma? Oh, mother and baby are both doing fine. And daddy's there too, thanks to Dr. Juno. Is it a boy and a girl? <laughs> well, um, why don't you go and find out? Um, is Samson outside? Oh, yes. OK, well, I'll go and keep him company and I'll see you later. Brilliant. Okay. Come on then, my darling. Let's go and see the baby. Bye-bye. Oh, Bye-bye, Bobby. Oh, will you look at him? Isn't he just gorgeous? Oh, Samson. Let's see if we can get home before Dr. Juno. <laughs> Good boy. 
Wagging tail. Samson wants to say thank you, Granny Murray. <gasps> and thank you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Don't be shy, show it off. It saved the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now, you'll want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was hacking, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dancing, shooting, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed to go shopping to buy a present for a new baby which was about to be born. Dr Juno came by to drop off Samson. I gave her a flower to celebrate the arrival of the new baby and told her to show it off with pride. We took Samson to the shops, we bought a present for the baby, then we went to the hospital. Emma had given birth to a healthy wee boy. I loved seeing the new baby. It was a very special day. I hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> Me too. Bye bye, honey pie.